Experts are now looking at this new infection mechanism as the key to preventing the further spread of the virus. ただの会話の中で感染が広がっているとかある程度の距離があってもそれが広がっているようなそういった事例を見ると通常の飛沫感染だけでは説明できない、まあ、非常に小さな粒子ということでマイクロメーターの粒子マイクロ飛沫感染とでも呼べるようなそういった状況が起きたんじゃないかなというふうに考えられます。So how does this take place? NHK is conducting an experiment with a group of researchers. The team will track particles in the air using laser beams and a high sensitivity camera. This technology allows us to detect droplets as small as 0.1 micrometers wide. The experiment starts. First, sneezing. <coughs> We can see a large droplet about one millimeter in diameter. It quickly falls. But let's look through the high sensitivity camera. We can see small particles that seem to glitter floating through the air. These particles are all smaller than 10 micrometers, or one one hundredth of a millimeter in diameter. <coughs> Let's take a look from a different angle. They're small and light. You can see them drifting through the air. These are micro droplets. We're learning that sneezing isn't the only source of these droplets. We ran the same experiment on a close range conversation. People generate a lot of micro droplets when they talk loudly. The droplets between these two stay where they are. They don't drift away. It's not yet known what volume of micro droplets leads to infection. But Tatada says we can't rule out the possibility that micro droplets have spread the virus to some extent. So, the micro droplets, the small droplets, are many of the same viruses. 大きな声での会話あるいは激しい息遣いそういった中でですねこのマイクロ飛沫ができてそれが近くの人その人が吸い込むことによって感染が広がるそういったリスクが見えてきたものと思います。The risk of infection through micro droplets becomes even greater in a closed space with poor ventilation. This lab is simulating the movement of micro droplets in an airtight room. About 10 people in an enclosed space the size of a classroom. <coughs> a person coughs once and spreads about 100,000 droplets. Large droplets are shown in blue and green. Most of these fall to the ground within one minute. But the micro droplets shown in red continue to drift. <coughs> This simulation uses only micro droplets. Five minutes later, ten minutes later, Twenty minutes later, the micro droplets are still floating in place. 空気が淀んでいると、つまり空気の流れがないということで
マイクロ飛沫そのものは、まあ、落ちたり、まあ、違う場所に動くことはできませんので長時間その場所にとどまるっていうことになります。But there is a way to prevent the stagnation of micro droplets. Opening windows and increasing air circulation is believed to be effective. When you open a window, micro droplets are quickly swept away. They're very small and light, so any airflow will get rid of them. できればですね、2箇所開けて風の流れを作ってあげるということが大事、それが、まあ、1時間に1回でもいいから、そういうようなことをやることによって、感染のリスクというのはかなり下げることができるようになるんじゃないかなというふうに思います。